What's up guys, Ozzy HPP Racing. Got a badass little ride here and a badass little video. This is going to be a unique car because it's an older Camaro, like a 2010-12, but it's got a late model front end we put on it. We got everything done on it, painted it. He is in love with it. So he puts it on the dyno because he thinks, damn, I got this badass front end. I got to put this car on the dyno because I make 650 horsepower and I got to show what kind of power I make. So I loved it. I got a smile on my face because a lot of people come to our dyno and it's the heartbreaker. It breaks your heart. They think they make a lot more power than they really do. So we put it on the dyno. It made about 530 horsepower. He was kind of like, oh, no, I made this. It never made that bubble. What it made was in your dreams it made 650. You did want to make it. But he said, what do we got to do? I told him, Mark, we're going to have to put a fuel system on it. If you put the four fuel system, it's pretty much bolt on. You got a triple hat basket. You got good injectors, badass lines, run E85, and we'll make the 650 you've always dreamed of, or maybe more. So he said, let's do it. If it doesn't make it, what do I get? I said, you get a car that doesn't make 700 horsepower. What do you want? That's what you get. But aside that, I told him, you know what? I'll give you a free tune. Just messing with him, we did a little bit. He ended up coming in the car because he's never driven a car with that kind of power and he wanted to see what it felt like in the passenger seat. So let's put him in the passenger seat after we're done with this video. The car ended up making 680 something horsepower, 670 something horsepower. It was in that range, I don't have the exact number. But what happened was we found the restriction that we couldn't hit that 700 mark. When we got the restrictor, we took off, it was an actual intake. On the blower where it comes here, you got your air filter. We'll squeeze it in, and I know some of you have put these air filters on the cars. You see they're real tight, and they barely fit. Well, they suck. So it barely makes it and puts it on the restriction. We got the pipe, and now we're going to make a pipe that goes to the bottom. Just by taking off the air filter, it picked up almost 70 horsepower. 60, I think it was 63 horsepower picked up. That's not the right way to run it. So what we're going to do is make the cold air intake that will go through the fender. It will come down the fender at the bottom, have a big 4-inch air filter so there's no restriction. And I believe he's still going to make maybe a little bit more than 712, not much more. We're just going to have it done the right way. So stay tuned to the video. Tell me how you like it. As usual, leave us something in the comment questions. If you have any questions for real, answer them. If you have any comments you don't like me, good, bad, ugly, it don't matter. Ain't no snowflake. It ain't going to hurt my feelings. But let me know. If you want these parts, you want to ship across the country, or you want to come to our shop and do it, you can go on hppracing.com. We'll have the links right there. Order it 24-7. The website's open. You can come on there and shop anytime you want. So enjoy the video, let me know how you like it, see you all next time. All right, so that's one way of taking it out. Guys, the reason this has been done, I know this is not the way you can drop the exhaust to a bunch of stuff. This guy goes to the track all the time. He wants to be able to get to his fuel system. For some reason, he's, a pump goes out, something goes out, and wants to be able to check it. This is the fastest way in. Obviously, we're going to make it a lot cleaner. Brandon's been packing it up here a little bit. He's going to get it cut, and then what, you're just going to round it off, make it nice and square. Yeah, and then down on Madden, so you want to, you know, well, dyno mess for the noise and shit, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You like that four innovation too? Yeah. I think it's yeah. badass. Dude. Top of the game. I like it when it's bolt on. Yeah. We don't have to fabricate. Drop the hat in, clean this up. I already mounted the brake later, so we'll be ready to fire it up here shortly. Oh, we got what size injectors are we going with on this? You know? Uh, 1300. Oh, 1300. I do 1300. Awesome. Our loader is anyway. So we have it here. You can see we do have it cut up here. But the reason it's cut up and it's not going to be jagged like that, we're going to get it all straightened out like he said and get it all dyno matted, make sure it's nice. This is just one easy way to get into the fuel system because if the other way you would have to take off the exhaust, he's not going to be able to do that at the track. Over here he could just pop the back, lift it, and it's ready to go. Hope you all like it so far. Let me see what else we can get done on this car. we got to get the fuel system on the lines, put the injectors in, and we'll go from there, guys.
and uh, we did a pulley swap, changed the headers, did the four fuel system, which is basically like uh, it's basically like the super size me fuel system. It comes with it has the rails, new lines. It's got a triple pump and it. it's got enough fuel for two motors basically.
people don't normally spend the money on something like this because it, they can they can kind of limp by on what they've got. The problem is you end up buying multiple fuel systems if you do that. You know, yeah. you end up Short buying cutting. the one that, that you were going to band-aid, and then you buy one to take care of the one that you you know. And the, the next thing you know, you're you've got a bunch. You, you spent way more money on fuel systems than you had planned. That's how I feel about booster pumps, you know. Yeah.